Woohoo! <laughs> We're finally playing Outer Wilds. Uh, this has been a long time coming. I tried to play this like a year ago, maybe more than a year ago, a year and a half ago, uh, and had problems like it just wouldn't run well on my laptop at all. I was getting like half a second of input lag or something and I just I couldn't play it at all. Um, but now I've borrowed a PlayStation 4 from a friend, uh, so I can finally play it. Uh, yeah, I've been looking forward to this. So many people have been recommending it to me. Lots of people say it's like one of their favorite puzzle games ever. Uh, so I'm pretty hyped up for it. Uh, what do I know about it? I know it's a kind of exploration puzzle game set in some kind of time loop. I think there might be like planetary exploration. It kind of fits with what's on the menu right now. Pretty sure you fly a ship. I'm not sure. I don't really know. Um, and yeah, there's like a time loop thing going on. So maybe kind of like in uh, Majora's Mask in, what was the main town called? There were like the, the quests that you would do where you'd have to like track people over time, figure out what's going on. I think it might be kind of like that, maybe? I don't know. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Let's find out. I do like the intro to the title screen, it's really cool. Loading. I think the game had, like, one of the reasons I saw for why I might, might have been getting input lag was because it, it, like, fully simulates everything, or simulates at least a lot of the world all the time. Which I think can impact not great machines. <laughs> Wake up. Okay, first puzzle done. What's actually going on up there? What's that flying away? And what's that? Are those like inside each other? Or just near each other? I think they're just near each other. And that's just a tree, okay. Hello. My sleeping bag, can I crouch or anything? What are the buttons? I'm using a gamepad. I don't use gamepads very often. I could jump. I guess I can crouch before I jump. Whoa. Whoa, maybe I should put that away for now. <laughs> oh, roast marshmallow. Uh, uh, extend stick. <laughs> what? I actually have to control the stick. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm totally charring there. That's, that's... Mm. Let's do another one. <laughs> it's on fire. Wait. Can I eat that? It looks a little bit dark. Mmm, crunchy. Let's, let's get one just right. Is this what this game is? Is this the whole thing? Ah! Sure. Okay, they're always crunchy. Did I just make a weird noise? I don't know. Um, Hello, talk to me. Oh gosh, you've got a few eyes. There's our pilot, back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars I see. Camp out is a weird word <laughs> when written like that. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program and suddenly here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say, ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. You sure you fixed the retro rockets? Oh, square. That was only a problem one time, and then maybe a few times after that, but hey, no reason to dwell on the past, right? Anyway, you'll need to get the launch codes from Hornfells at the observatory if we can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Launch codes from somebody Hornfells at the observatory. Is Hornfells a name? Yeah. I can't jump that high. Or at least, I don't know how to jump that high. 
Hey, this is running much better than it was on my laptop. This is great. Requires launch codes. That makes sense. Uh, what on earth was that? Was that the fire? Did I just walk into the fire? Is that what happened? Yes. That's, that's a very strange visual effect on the screen. That's not what I associate with burning. Okay, it's telling me how to jump. 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 Can we jump a bit? <laughs> I'm immediately just trying to jump out of bounds. Okay. Oh, hello. Mika? Hey, it's you. Slate said you're blasting off in your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you going to go into space, aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. I'll say, hey, I'm still going. You better be. It's been forever since anyone launched into space. I really, really want to see it. Really bad. Hey, you want to try out my model ship? Slate says it's just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. Where's your model ship? Oh, what? Horizontal thrust. Down and up. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Where's it going? I... <laughs> What's happened? I honestly cannot... Okay, come back, please. What? Okay, let's look at where the flames are going. So, yeah, that should go that way, but I guess I also have to lift. Okay. I must have been stuck on something down there. I was, like, hitting every button I could. Ah, come back. Come back. Oh my gosh. You said less likely to start a fire. This... <laughs> this looks like it might still start a fire. Uh... What's that water cup doing? Maybe that's to put out the fire. Okay, what? How did I lose control there? Because, like, I can control it at this point. That's, like, pretty easy. Can I... ooh. Why are you falling over? self right yourself. Wait, why is that now up? I'm upside down, that's why. Okay. Oh, this is impossible to control. I hope I don't have to do this for the whole game. Oh, that was nearer than I thought it was. Hey, I landed. Do I get a point? Can I burn the wood? Burn. No. I wish if I land on the watery bit. Wait, stop falling over. Ah. Okay. Let's maybe go do something else. Presumably there's something to do there. Or maybe that's just to practice flying. Maybe I do have to actually do that. Maybe she says something different now. Well, a landing. Guess that's why Slate lets you fly the real thing, huh? Was she watching? Uh, uh, let's hope it doesn't go quite like that, dude. Launch tower. Some stuff. Oh, wait, what do I look like? Oh, I'm also like blue. Barrel that I don't seem to be able to interact with. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Can't seem to knock. Oh, this stuff's on the wall as well. Okay, I guess I'm not knocking. There's a boat. Observatory, so that's where I'm heading. Hey, there's somebody with a banjo. Nice. Hello there, space cadets. I hear you're leaving the crater today. If you meet any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Sure. Oh, sure. I made all of their instruments, you know. Let me see. There's Chert's drums, Rybeck's banjo, and Gebro's flute. I feel like this is the kind of thing I'm supposed to remember. Mm, let's not make notes for now until I like have a good understanding of what I'm supposed to make notes about, but I imagine this might be a note-taking game. Church drums, Rybeck's banjo, and Kebro's flute. 
Hey, they've even accurately the 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 string closest to their head is the shortest string on the banjo, and it is. Look, it's like it only goes halfway up the neck. Neat. Um, and Feldspar's harmonica, of course. Oh gosh, okay, we've got another one. Feldspar's harmonica. Uh, the feldspar has been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels like just yesterday they were playing their harmonica around the campfire. Anyway, you hear music in space. That'll be one of the space programs of the travelers. If you feel like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. Okay. So music is how I find people. Banjos, harmonicas, drums and something else. Oh hey, you've got an axe. So it's launch day, huh? Hal's gonna miss you. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it, and the platform those ships launch from is getting old. Isn't it about time you built a new, less flammable one? A big tree in the village would be the perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out the space program, just say the words. <laughs> I'm gonna say, we all know you have it out for that tree. What? No, I just think it's in the way. Since I ought to, someone ought to chop it down, you know? Specifically, me. <laughs> you think that's to do with the time I fell out with and broke my arm? That was when we were hatchlings. Ooh, look, the sunlight's coming out. Who would hold a grudge for that long? Okay, so I was about to question whether time was already running, and it seems like it is. It doesn't look like I can really go into people's houses. That's another thing. Outer Wilds Ventures presents postcards from orbit. Oh, do I cast a shadow? Apparently not. Alrighty. Use satellite camera. This projector is linked to our Sky Shutter satellite, which is currently orbiting Timber Earth. This satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of our village. Or Timber Half, I guess. The satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. A snapshot of our village, sure. So is that the planet we're on, Timber Half? See if you can take a snapshot of our village, sure. How do I... Uh, R1, L1. Wait, what? Oh! Wait, so I see we're just like orbiting round. But I don't get to see it as it's going. I just get to see the next snapshot. Where is our village? It's a volcano. Or something, maybe it's not lava coming out of it? Is that our village? That looks like our village. That's totally our village. Done. What, what's my prize? You're actually blasting off in that thing, huh? <laughs> I'm told my odds of survival are statistically quite high. Yeah, the space program has certainly come a long way. I should probably thank you for causing fewer flash fires than your predecessors. By the way, good luck with those retro rockets. I'm wondering if, if dialogue choices are actually meaning anything, or if it's just like to add some dynamics to the conversation. This pilot seat, used by pioneering astronaut Feldspar, is all that remains of our inaugural flight into space. Although it's been argued such a distinction requires a breathtakingly liberal definition of flight, that day will nevertheless Always be remembered as the landmark achievement in Harthian history. Uh, so exactly how did he fly? I'm curious. Some kind of jetpack type thing there. It's pretty dark in here. I guess that's like another model rocket. Some kind of radio, another rockety type thing, or like a capsule, and a flag. Hmm, I wonder how much I need to be taking in. Who have I spoken to so far? I've not spoken to you. With your delicious soup. Porphy. Heyo, hatchling. I hear you're leading us to seek adventure amongst the stars. When you return, let's you, me, and Gossen open up a bottle of the good stuff. 
I'm only seeking adventure amongst one star, actually. Other stars are too far away. Yes, I'm saying that. Another metaphor ruined in the name of scientific accuracy. Nevertheless, I do hope you enjoy your travels. Good luck. So presumably I fly around a particular solar system. Should we go to the observatory? Let's go to the observatory. Can I fall in here? I can, but it's also solid. Can I fall in the water? Can I jump on here? I can. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> good start. There was stuff down there. Maybe at some point I get the ability to swim in the water. Do we totally restart the day? Is that how this works? Is my death the... Oh, no, we get the credits. Okay, we're done. That's this game over. That was pretty good. I quite liked... I think the intro to the menu was my favorite part so far. It had really nice music. It was building up my hype a lot. The characters were fun. <laughs> uh, not as puzzly as I was expecting. I was expecting more, more to think about. But you know, there was that like wake up puzzle at the start. That was kind of tricky. I had to find the right button. Uh, had to cook the marshmallow exactly right. That's kind of tricky. I think I eventually got it kind of okay. Although the last time I don't think I cooked it very much, but I mean, who cares? Marshmallows are fine without being pop cute, right? Uh, and I managed to take a photo of the village. So all in all, for those three challenges, I think I did pretty well. Yeah, it's quite a good game. Presumably I can skip this. <laughs> okay. Interesting. What? So I actually have to start again. <laughs> Let's not jump in there again. Let's just go to the observatory this time. Although now people are going to be like, oh, you didn't speak to me. Like I was rude. But no, I did speak to you, just in a different life. Maybe that's how it goes? Does the game like constantly end and you have to restart? Is that how it works? Like, that would be an interesting way of doing the time loop, like sort of having the time loop out of the game itself. I'm just not talking to anybody now. Hopefully they don't hate me because of it. At least I'm gonna have all the time in the world. It's still dead of night. Observatory. Hey. Galena. Okay, you don't say much. Hello, astronauts. This is my favorite troublemaker. Let's ask what's the, with the radio. We wanted to play hide and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? We'll even let you be it. Okay. Sure. Woohoo. Okay, here are the rules. Galena and me will hide with these radios and you'll use your signal scope to find us. Last one to flat. Oh, last one to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. Okay, maybe this is meant to be tutorializing. Yes. Oh, I hear some music. It's the, it's the main theme. Wait, I wasn't just listening to you, was I? Does this pick up radio signals? and not other things. Up there somewhere? How does one get up there? What? Is there a way, do I go around the other way? Because this heads upwards, so maybe we go up like this. Oh, there's also somebody over there. 
that somebody in the background? That is somebody in the background. Hello. Speak later. Why are you still hiding? Oh, you found me, but my hiding spot was super good. Wow, the water is really loud right now. Don't forget you have to find both of us, okay? Okay, can I get out of here without falling? Oh gosh. Where? So there's somebody over here somewhere. 33 meters. Hello. Gotcha. I won? I'm happy. <laughs> Thanks for playing with us. That's a strange reaction. I mean, no, it's not strange to be happy, it's strange to say it in that way. What's currently blocking the light? I guess this tree. Uh, okay, so I walked past a few people. You have spoken to already. Well, or I haven't, but I have. <clears throat> you. What do you have to say? Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme, singing helps me pass the time. <laughs> You're leaving the crater? Guess we'll all be a little bit busier without you about to lend a hand. That big water planet, Giant Steep, that's where I'd go. Uh, the Hotfells are at the observatory, right? One time, after the rest of the village had left to sleep and it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire, Gabbro told me about their first trip to Giant Steep. They landed their ship easily enough in the waves, couldn't see too far down, on account of how murky the water was, I guess. Too dark. Gabra wants to see what lay beneath the surface, so they decided to travel deeper. They travelled down and down. But suddenly Gabra couldn't go any further. Uh <laughs> Wow. No, tell me more. I will, I was just pausing dramatically. As though exercising a will of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabra go any deeper. It held Gabra back, almost as if it was trying to protect them from something. And then, in the terrible darkness, Gabra saw it. The tentacle of some hideous beast. Ah, uh, I mean, that's what Gabra said anyway. Whatever it was, it freaked Gabra out pretty good. Everyone wants to hear these stories at the village campfire, you know. Make, make sure you bring some back with you. I shall. But first I've got to actually take off without dying before it happens. <laughs> yeah, I could see death being the way that this game resets, which is quite an interesting take. I mean, maybe it's not. Maybe there's another way of it resetting as well. I mean, is the observatory all the way up there? Wait, no. The observatory's that way. There's so much stuff to see. This is quite a big place. Let's go along here. All that as well. well. I've heard of you. Hmm. Oh, hello, astronauts. This is a good. This is good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. What are you up to? Using my signal scope to pick up sounds from from distant planets. It's set to the Outer Wilds Ventures frequency, so I can pick up the Traveler's music. Last night I heard Rybeck's banjo coming from the Brittle Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. I can hear different planets too. Depends on what time of day or night it is. Since different planets are in the sky at different times. Makes sense. Signal scopes are cool. Cool. Ooh, this is really cool. Is that like an X spaceship? Can you always see all the planets or some of them like far enough away? Like what about that star? Well, there's a thing out there. Is that a star? Maybe it's another star. Oh, hello, what are you? Oh my gosh, this is actually really cool. There's some signal down here somewhere. Sure, um, okay. That planet at least does not Wait, where's it gone? <laughs> so I'll say that planet at least doesn't look like it was moving very quickly, but I guess it is. Oh yeah, it is moving pretty fast. All right. 
All right. I'm tempted to go that way, but I would like to get to the observatory at some points. I didn't speak to you, did I? Arcos. Hi, astronaut. Is that my name? Is my name just astronaut? You know the patch of ghost matter inside this fence? Gosson said it used to be bigger when they were ha when, when they were hatchling. Because ghost matter ghost matter evaporates. Okay, the patch of ghost matter. Well, I don't see it right now. It just takes a super long time to go away. I hope there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm a grown up. Ghost matter is awesome. Hmm. <clears throat> You know Ghost Matter is how Tektite lost their foot, right? Let's go for that. Well, really? That is so cool. Tektite. Have I seen Tektite? Is that Ghost Matter? These like crystal things? I was expecting something more ghostly. Whoa! Or well, maybe that's Ghost Matter. I don't know. Read. Danger. Inside this fence is a pocket of Ghost Matter. A strange and dangerous substance that's invisible to the naked eyes. I guess it's not the crystals then. Good news is that you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you're hurt if you hurt yourself fooling around, horn bells. Okay, more music. Oh camera. Can I move the camera? Yes I can. Do I wanna do this? Is that the idea? Hmm. Or is it always there? There's always like an aura. I kinda wanna catch one of those bursts. Is it always over there? Mm. I'm sure there's more to it, but we'll find out later. Zero G cave? Oh. There's so much to do. Hey, come say hi to your old flight coach before you launch. I've got zero G training set up if you want to refresh it. Yes, please. Hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting the better of you? I'm a little nervous, yeah. Good, everyone should be a bit nervous going into space. I got cocky during my first flight and nearly put a new crater on the moon. Still, I was never as green as you. I wonder if that greenish planet looking thing was actually the moon for this place? Uh. Hey, I've gone better. Think so, do you? Feel like proving it to your old flight coach? There's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment, set up down the zero-g cave and in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last-minute zero-g practice, head down the lift into the cave. Or don't, so long as you're confident you can make ship repairs in space. Yep, let's do it. Try not to cut the yourself. off. Okay. I'm hoping it's going to teach me stuff. Convenient that everybody's doing stuff that is the stuff I need to learn how to do. As though I've never actually existed in this universe until this moment. I like your fake stars. Wait, oh, flashlight. Cool. Why is there like a thing on top of... Oh, it's a pickaxe inside the barrel, I see. Thought it was a sign, but no. Is there a G cave? Wait, does it mean up that way, or...? Sit up. Oh, gosh. Is this going to be as hard to control as the other thing? Um... Up we go. Okay, this is okay so far. At least I'm staying upright. There's somebody down there. Hello? Hey, hey, nice of you to drop down. Give me the dirt. Some fresh dirt. Not, ha not much happening down here lately. Let me think. Couldn't think of it. Tektite saw something crash outside of the village crater earlier. That's new and different. Oh, hey, how about that? 
Yeah, they were on Firewatch with the old scout launcher and saw smoke, so they went to check it out. Safety first, right? No, I'm kidding. I said that to Tech Titan once. Pretty rude how long they laughed for, if you ask me. So when you say zero G, you mean still very much one G. Or is there, is there, am I going somewhere else? Like, that's the way I came in, right? Yes. Yeah. But it does say gravity zero on my screen, but I, I definitely fall. 0.4 times. Is this less gravity? Oh, it's less gravity, we see. Interesting. I wonder how they set this cave up. Ooh. Where do I get zero? Is it zero around here or not? No, I'm just definitely still falling, although it's 0.3. Maybe the deeper we go, the less gravity there is, because that's how gravity works. Cool. Uh, also, where's the stuff I'm repairing? That kind of looks broken, but maybe not. It's probably down here somewhere. Ooh, this could be actual zero G. Whoa. How does this work? Oh my gosh. Ow, I just banged my head into the wall. Zero of three repaired. So probably this thing. Uh, uh, what do I do? L press. So I just want to like give myself a bit of momentum and then slow down. Oof, okay, so then uh, uh, five meters, zero meters per second. What does that mean? Oh, D. What does that mean? I don't understand what the meters and meters per second means. Is that how far it is away from me? It looks less than five meters away. Oh gosh, okay. I'm sort of somehow managing to fumble my way through this. I guess I just look around and I can go in that direction if I want. Yeah, it's not too bad. Okay, where are the other places to fix? Maybe I should turn this... Oh, it is on. I guess there's one here? Oh yeah, I see it. Uh, slow down, slow down. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, slow down. Uh, wait, okay, would that have told me if I do that again? Wait, what? X to match velocity. I see, okay, so if I want to, I can like target a thing and then stop next to it. That's cool. How do I repair it? I'm not close enough, apparently. What? Okay. Yeah, this is too far away. Alrighty. Then... One more somewhere. It sounds like it's above me, although I can't see anything up there. I can't quite tell where that's coming from. Oh, is it just are there three spokes coming out of this thing? I've sort of lost track of, like, which way is up. I guess there is no way that's up. There's no gravity. What does up even mean? Uh, okay, now this side is different, but maybe this thing's broken somewhere? No? It sounds like it's coming up here somewhere. But vertical, uh, like, audio perception is kind of tricky in video games. Where is it? I don't see anything sparking. Oh, wait, what? Oh, is it inside? It's inside, I see. Oh, gosh. I just remember that, like, the, th the up and down thrusters are relative to my view angle. Can't just look around and expect them to still go the way I was thinking of up a second ago. Up changes as I move around, basically. Uh. 
Cool. I'll get used to that. I guess I head back up. Uh, when I say up, I mean that way, maybe? Oh gosh, this is going to be weird. Ah, okay, it reoriented me. Ow! Up this way. Fuel level critical. Okay, I was not keeping my eye on that. There is fuel up there. There's also oxygen. Let's go. Can I take this thing off? Can I leave it here? There we go. Whew. I'm alright without that for now. There is low gravity in here in general. Does gravity go down the deeper we go? Like, does it get... Um, does it lessen? We did go pretty far down. Hey, I did it. Nicely done. Of course, it'll be a little more stressful when you're hurtling through space. Just remember your training and try not to take anything big. I see you're itching to get off this rock, so go get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Best to look out there, and hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed now that I've put so much time into training you, got it? Why are you talking to me again? That was weird. I didn't press anything. <clears throat> observatory, this way. I don't know how much... I, well, assuming there is some kind of time limit, I don't know how much what time limit there is. Is that the star, or is that... It's pretty shiny. Hey, look, there's those things. Interesting. Drums? Some of the drums. Let's not jump in anything that could potentially be dangerous. <laughs> this looks like an observatory. Oh, and there's another way back down to the launch tower. Interesting. Oh, maybe that connects to the... There was like a path that was like too high for me to jump to. Maybe that connects to there. What one is this? Hornfells, Gossen, Feldspar, Esker, and, and Slate. Outer Wilds, Ventures, Founding Members. What cars from top left on Felsgoss and Slate and Felspar? Wait, it was the fifth name on the thing though. Esker. Esker. Did Esker take the photograph? Big thanks to these additional founding members of Outer Wilds Ventures, without whom we would never have gotten off the ground. <laughs> Matthew Steinhauer. Ben Etherington. These sound more like real names. Uh, okay. <laughs> Although this sounds like a username. Uh, Quirty UI up the Pi. The top row of the keyboard, the Pi. Jordan Frith. Tom Cummings, wait. Interesting. Is this some sort of just special thanks? Maybe. Outer Wilds Ventures, Timber Hearth's first and only space program was founded to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. Feldspar was the first Harthian to be in intentionally launched into space. They completed the first orbit around Timber Hearth and later made the first of what would be many landings on our moon, the Apple Rock. This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with the most detailed look yet at the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewellery that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in the solar system, we still have no idea where the species came from or what happened to them. Hey Hal. Hey hey, it's my favourite astronaut. Launch day at last, huh, buddy? It's the Translator Tools inaugural flight too. I'm so excited it's making me nauseous. Translator Tool? 
Just think you'll be able to translate any Nomai text you want, anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? Haha. <laughs> oh jeez, do not break it. Uh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous, and I'm not even the one going to space. How are you feeling? I'm terrified. Oh, don't let me make you nervous. You've been training for this day since you were a hatchling, remember? You'll do great, I promise. So did we hatch out of eggs? So what's the dirt? You here to see the new Namai statue? New statue? You haven't heard? Gamera brought it back with them from Giant Steep, and Hornfels has finished prepping it for display. This is it right here. Neat, huh? I like how, like, I presumably grew up here, but like, I don't recognize that this statue is new. Makes me wish we could see what a real life Nomai looks like, but I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out, it looks like they have fur. Fur is weird. This is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know. For how old it is, it's in great shape. Oh jeez, I got a little carried away, uh, away there. Go on, you have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear? Does look pretty interesting. Can I zoom like this? I can do that. Uh, oh, I see, like side entrance into the observatory. Or the only entrance, maybe. I just assumed I was going to go through a door over there, but no. Alrighty. There's so much stuff to do and see in this place. Presumably rocks from another planet? The strange rock moving around this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level head of the mongers realizes that there must be some sort of optical illusion at play. Gabriel claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed. Whatever that means. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree the effect is extremely creepy. So we have some kind of qu uh, <laughs> some kind of quantum rock. Uh, uh, it's gone. Uh, oh. So it only stays in one place while it's being observed. Just like an electron. Kinda. So what happens if I keep that, the left stump, in sight the whole time? Or both of them. If I keep both of them in, it always stays there. Presumably if I keep the left stump in sight, it only goes to the other one. Yes, I never see it pop up on my screen. That's cool. That's cool. Is this our solar system? Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. Okay. As it grows older, the star runs out of hydrogen and starts to contract. As the star... Oh, I see. This is a, a sun uh, dying. As the star's core contracts, it gets hotter, causing the outer layers to expand. The stars become a red giant. When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. If a star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into heavier elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and explode in a violent event called a supernova. Based on Chert's observations, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. This crystal was taken from a Nomai ruin on Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distortion and was most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. No way. Ooh. Neat. Oh, so to get off I have to go this way? Ha. Cool. Same slide. Alrighty. The Nomai technology brought back from space by our astronauts has been a great boon to Outer Wilds Ventures, allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the Little Scout now boasts a warp retrieval capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost in the depth of space. I see. So I can bring this thing back to me. What you see here are parts of the Nomai skeleton. We tell from their skulls that they possessed antlers and, quite unusually, only three eyes. <laughs> only three. The Nomai body was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The differences in the Nomai anatomy 
such as their shockingly fragile bone structure shows that Harthians couldn't have descended from Nomayan ancestors. It's not clear where the Nomai originated from or why they dis disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. Maybe that's what the game's about. Where did they come from? Where did they go? Where did they come from? <laughs> Cotton Eye Joe? <laughs> okay, something interesting going on here. Ooh, this is my translator, I guess. Uh, R1. Cassava. We're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction, and she says calibrating the device won't take long. Wait. Felix, fortunately, the Athelor Rock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. Athelor Rock? What was Athelor Rock? Somebody else mentioned Athelor Rock. Uh, wait, no, that sign mentioned it. That's where the stone was from, right? No, Crystal Hollow. Uh, I feel like a sign did mention it, but I don't remember which one. Let's see. Uh, how do I get that back? Oh. We just have to look at it, I guess. Is that not... That's text. It's interesting text. Look at it. Pretty cool, though. It's like a molecular structure or something. That is not text, though. Oh, or is it? Oh, that was from me walking around the corner. All right. This piece of Nomai writing was essential to deciphering their unique language. So this is like the Rosetta Stone of Nomai language. <laughs> Although this text is linear, Nomai text often branches off from a central point. In interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. Okay, well, so you, they write a sentence like that, and then the next author writes the next like line branching off. Curious. Did I go past this? Watch closely, these balls move on their own. I can sort of see them moving? The ground is perfectly level, so what do you think caused this spooky motion? The answer is the moon. As it orbits our planet, the Athel Rock's gravity... Oh, okay, Athel Rock is the moon. The Athel Rock's gravity pulls in objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. That's cool. Demonstration of the tides. Although, like, it's not the best demo right now. <laughs> the moon must be, like... Over there somewhere? I don't know. Let's go up. Whoa. Whoa. This is cool. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. The Hourglass Twins, can I, okay, zoom. Okay, so those are in a, like a twin orbit. What do you call that? Uh, I've forgotten the term. Is that their moon? No, wait, where was that? It looked like it was next to them, but it, no, it's not. I don't know. Then we've got our planet. With that moon, well, we've got the Apple Rock and that thing. Do we have two moons? That one doesn't look to be moving very much. Brittle Hollow, that's where that, that crystal came from. Hollow's Lantern, that looks cool. Giant's Deep, that's the one with the water. That doesn't let you go any deeper. Dark Bramble, okay, this is cool. Hello, what are you? Are you what I saw from... I was looking at you, wasn't I? I think I was. Uh, so let's close the map. Who am I going to? Who am I speaking to? Is this somebody up here? Oh, there it is. Hello. One fellas. There you are. I just finished pre-flight observations. The local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. You'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Know My Translator tool. I confess, I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Know My. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. 
oh, so we worked on the, the translator together. I did wonder, because they said something like, uh, the two of us worked on this. I wasn't sure if they meant them and uh, them, me or them and somebody else. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? Uh, I'm going to wing it. <laughs> That's true. Planning to follow in the footsteps of Feldspar and the great Outer Wilds Ventures tradition, are you? I might have guessed. We'll see if you can't put that translator tool of yours to good use while you're out there. Well then, looks like all that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. <laughs> no, I'm ready to get off this rock. Excellent, you'll be needing the launch codes then. Here they are. Best to get off the ground before Slate makes any more modifications to your ship, eh? Good look out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Okay, launch codes. It appears to be Morse code. Dash 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 dot dot dash dot. Whatever that translates to. It might not be actual Morse codes. Hmm, this is odd. According to my redshift calculations, every single galaxy in this image is moving away from us. In fact, the farther away a galaxy is, the faster it is moving away. It's almost as, almost as if the entire universe is expanding. If that's true, was everything close together in the past? Then how far back can we extrapolate? Did the universe have a beginning? Hmm, big questions. This is incredible. At first I thought the points of light in this image were stars, but they're not. They're galaxies. And this image covers just a tiny patch of the whole sky, which means the universe contains at least a thousand times more galaxies than we previously imagined. I, I think I need to sit down. I think that's just two notes, even though there's like four or five. They're not different, right? No. Like the group of notes is one message. Okay, let's go back to... Uh, what was their name? Um, Slate? Not this way, not this way. Oh, oh gosh. Uh, should I be worried? Is that stuff I've been doing? What? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what did you do to me? People are going to notice you rotated. It wasn't me. I did nothing. I didn't touch it. Okay. Watch tower. Hey. Hey, hey, so did you get a good look at that Nomai statue? The statue looked at me. Whoa, whoa, the statue was doing what? So it's eyes open and you saw images from your own memories of glowing lights flying around. You mean like a hallucination? Listen, no offense, but are you sure they're, you're okay to launch, like medically speaking? No, the statue is definitely weird. I mean, if you're saying it happened, then I guess it, maybe it did, but why? One fell tried everything to get that statue's eyes to open, and nothing like this ever happened to them. I don't think you're going to get any answers from the museum statue, but Gabra said they were going to go back to the giant steep. I don't know which island they're on, though. Maybe they'll be able to tell you more. On the other hand, Gabra is, you know, Gabra. So maybe you'd be better off searching for more info on your own. Jeez, now I'm really jealous of going to space. Hey, see if you can use our translator tool to find out more about that statue, okay? Good luck and safe flying. Alrighty. I'm not going to go speak to Gabra. I'm just going to go. I'm going to get on my rocket and explore the solar system. Okay, all this wood's here. Can I let it go? I don't think I can really interact with this. Can I? Yeah. Why is it like held there though? Strange. Hello astronauts, are you going to space today? Are you going to space and never coming back like Feldspot did? What? Yeah, um, Hornfels said Feldspot went way into space, didn't come back. Hornfels says Feldspot was the best pilot ever, but no one knows what happened to them. Hornfels probably shouldn't be telling you stuff like this. Hornfels says that too. But if Feldspot disappeared, you might disappear too, right? You're not as good as Feldspot, so you should be really careful not to get lost. Wow. Wow. Screw you. I'm not talking to you ever again. It's gonna jump over your head. Okay, this is gonna definitely connect up to that bit I couldn't jump up. Yep. 
Hey, I'm back. Looks like you're ready for takeoff. The excitement of a launch is full and all. But I can't wait to get back to work on the new ship. We're working on fixing the autopilot's avoidance system for this one. Uh, sorry. <laughs> okay, so we don't have that. Here we go. Uh, the problem is I'm not going to be able to control this at all. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I don't think I should be in charge of this. I really don't think I should be in charge of this. <laughs> oh, gosh. Do I want to suit up? Probably. Oxygen refill. Spot the tree, walk towards it, enjoy. <laughs> Uh, surely I want my suit on. Little scouts. See beyond the horizon, illuminate dark areas, detect hazards, test the environments. Do ship lock. Well, okay, so I haven't been to any other places. Hell says Gabriel went back to Giant Steve to try to learn more about the Na the I keep reading it as Naomi. No my statue in the observatory. Okay, so that's a note from Gabro, I guess. Find in rumor mode. What does that mean? Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is probably how I track like my knowledge. Map mode. Okay, let's go back to here. Village, okay. The one and only Harthian village, as well as the main source of explosions on this planet. Okay, it's just called Village, I guess. The, the Nomai statue in the observatory opened its eyes and looked at me. I saw strange glowing lights and my own memories flashed before my eyes. How says the statue has never opened its eyes before, despite Hothfell's best efforts. I came at the very center of the timber hearth used by Outer Wilds Ventures to train new astronauts. I successfully repaired another satellite for Gossen. Okay, so I see. It gives me a way of like finding places I've been to. And then my text observatory talks about calibrating some sort of device on the Athel Rock. Indeed it did. Um, oh, that's what mentioned the Athel Rock. Wait, no, yeah, that's the second time I saw the uh, Athel Rock mentioned. How says Gabriel went back to Giant Steve's truck a little more? Okay, I'd forgotten that. So thanks for reminding me. Um, it's hard to take everything in when you're just starting a game because there's just so much going on. A nice little map. Should we should we take off? Should we see how this goes? Buckle up. Where do I want to go? Uh, the moon. Maybe let's just see how this goes. Uh, lift off landing camera. I see. So wait. Oh. Oh. Okay. So that's so I can see what's happening. I don't think I need that to go off, do I? Oh my gosh, this is terrifying. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is, oh, I'm crashing. <laughs> no, 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 no. Go back up, go back up. Oh my gosh. Okay, gravity's pretty strong. <laughs> Should keep that in mind. How do I then... Wait, so, lock on. Um, I almost destroyed everything already. Uh, I should pick a destination. Where do I want to go? Okay, the controls might make much more sense in from a cockpit rather than that remote control thing. Um, what is that? Is that that's not Atom Rock? That's Giant's Deep. Oh yeah, that's miles away, isn't it? It's like right on the outside the solar system. It's hard to tell like depth. I guess that's why it says. Uh, a distance when you lock on stuff. Hey, is that Apple Rock? Or is that just that's the other thing that was around us? Which one's Apple Rock? That one? The Apple Rock. Should we go there? It looks tiny, but maybe it's not so tiny. Oh, also, somebody said there was something outside the village to look at. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm going too fast. I'm going too fast. Oh, how do I do this? How do I do this? Ah, ha, ha, ha. Go that way. Go towards it. 
Oh, do I have to do this? No. Match velocity. Okay. Can I do... Oh. Engage autopilot. I see. Okay. That makes it a little easier. Landing mode. Okay, and it points me directly at it, and then I just do this. Where do I want to land? Is there like a specific place to land? Uh, uh, there's just like a lot of terrible stuff. Maybe I should have landed... Uh, I'm, I'm going a bit too fast. Whoa, 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 hold on. Let's go to that crater that was, that was there. Not that one, down here somewhere. Ooh. Oh gosh, I'm hitting the trees. This is not where the crater was. Let's just land anywhere. Let's just land here. It'll do, it'll do. <laughs> is that okay? Uh, I'm guessing that's okay. Uh, how do I get out of this? Okay. <laughs> It's pretty spooky when you land and you see all the <clears throat> all the stuff moving around you, because it feels like you're not like actually stationary. But I am. I am. <laughs> uh, I guess I need to keep my suit on. Maybe. It feels like I'm using my oxygen based on that breathing. Oh my gosh, what's going on here? Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> 